Eevee is one of the best flanks in Paladins if you actually put the time in to master this character. She has incredible mobility, she has pretty good bursts, and she can absolutely dominate a team if left unchecked and in the hands of a skillful player. And that leads to a lot of people being very frustrated by Eevee. They call her OP, when as a matter of fact, she's not. There are actually a lot of ways to counter Eevee, and I should know, for I am an Eevee main, and I have to deal with these counters all the time. So today, I am going to teach you several different methods to counter Eevee, and, to a lesser extent, counter many of the other highly mobile characters in this game, such as Vatu, Maeve, and Seven. So, stick around, and let's get started. Eevee can be a very difficult champion to track when she is floating around at Mach 7 doing all of these crazy shenanigans. And so, you have to understand the right strategies to actually go about counterplaying this. First, let's just talk about champions that are intrinsically good against Eevee. She primarily relies on evasion to stay alive, using her abilities to get out of dodge. So. You want to counter her by using things that either don't care about evasion, such as auto-aim, or abilities that will stop her from using her own abilities, such as cripples, stuns, and silences. And she also, even though she has good bursts, doesn't ex actually do that much weapon damage. She does 850 damage per second, which is on the medium to low end as far as a lot of champions in this game are concerned. It's just very bursty and very impactful. And that's what makes her good, because she can 3-tap people like that. But if you're able to increase your health through car uh, items such as armor plating and veteran, or just intrinsically being a tanky character, that'll significantly increase the time it takes for Eevee to kill you. And every additional shot she requires to kill you is an additional second that you have to kill her. So that's another good way to counter her. So let's talk about these champions then. Who on this champion roster is best suited to counter Eevee? Well, the number one answer is Torvald. Torvald is one of the best champions in the game, just period. But he's also one of the best champions in the game for countering highly mobile dive characters. And Eevee is exactly one of those characters. He has two talents that can be beneficial here. Thanks Grandpa will allow him to increase the shield health of protection by 300 and reduce the cooldown. This enables him to pocket his teammates more, and that will increase Eevee's time to kill on the teammate that she is diving. Direct Current is another really good talent versus Eevee. This doubles the range at which you can use Nullify. So if you pick this talent, you can Nullify somebody from all the way over there. And the thing about Nullify is this ability is auto-aim and crowd control at the same time. So Eevee can be as evasive as possible, it doesn't matter. Like, I can just fly my screen around like this, and if I just right-click, boom. Latches on, don't need to aim at all, and that will just drop her out of the sky like a rock. And even if she buys Unbound to counter this ability, it's still an interrupt, it's still free damage, and it's still enough to really put her in danger. And when you combine that with the fact that Torvald is very tanky himself, he can make his teammates tanky, and he does 800 damage per second, which is very similar to the amount of damage per second that Eevee does, except he has way more health. This makes Torvald one of the best champions in the game to, to counter Eevee. And so, if you really just want to hard counter Eevee and not have to think about her at all, or Maeve, Vatu, whoever, Torvald is your guy. Best champion hands down for that. But of course, not everyone wants to be a Torvald main, so what other attributes should you be looking out for in your damage and flank champions and supports to try and counter this champion? Well, we have a few more damage champions that are pretty good against Eevee. Uh, first and foremost, we have Shaolin, who is a pretty skillful champion. You do have to be good at hitting shots with him, but he is very, very rewarding if you do hit those shots, because check this out. We have Sand Trap, 1300 damage, and boom, dead. Super, super, super bursty. Eevee has the lowest health pool in the game, so burst damage absolutely destroys Eevee. And if you can play a burst damage character like Shaolin or, I don't know, Cassie, uh, Octavia even kind of, although not really, she's kind of clunky, but burst damage in general, 
that will go a long way towards dealing with Eevee, and that's much better than damage over time characters, such as Victor or Tyra or whoever, because you actually have to end up hitting way more shots and having way better tracking on someone like Victor to swat Eevee out of the sky. With Shaolin, if you're good at flicking, you can just flick, bam, cripple, and dead. And that will absolutely destroy her. And Shaolin with the health card as well. Look at that, can get 2400 HP. And if we buy Veteran or Armor Plating, look at how much our health increases by. We have well over 3,000 effective hit points when we max out both of these items. And even just Armor Plating alone is enough to require Eevee to need more than three shots to kill us, giving us plenty of time to try and track her. Or if you just don't want to track Eevee at all, guess what? There's a champion in the game for that too. We have Leon. Leon is an excellent champion right now, just in general but also an especially good counter to Eevee because she combines Burst and Auto-Aim, and she also got a buff to her survivability this patch that makes her really good for that too. So I'll just run a max HP build just to show you. Leon can get the same amount of HP as uh, Shaolin, Pocket which change. makes her really tanky versus Eevee. Uh, but also, yeah, we can just Auto-Aim. Wasn't aiming at them at all, still do 400 damage. This does 400 damage as well. If you run an auto-aim chain build with Alacrity, that's the easiest way to deal with Eevee, but generally that's not the best playstyle for Leon right now, and so if you actually have good aim, uh, it's better to go Eminence or even Precision if you're mainly focused on like tank busting or something like that. Because yeah, you can absolutely shred with all this damage. And if Eevee dives you, you can use her ultimate, right? And you can block a bunch of damage and also kill with that fat burst that almost does 100% of her health pool. So Leon is another excellent counter to Eevee. But what if you want to play a support? Well, there are a couple options in the support category that are also really good. In general, there are supports that are kind of like anti-dive supports in a way. They're just really hard to dive and take on in a 1v1. Queen among them is Ray for the purposes of countering Eevee because Ray has really good tools to counter Eevee. Uh, she has the Spirit Link. Uh, which, of course, is auto-aim. So that's free damage that you can put on Eevee right from the get-go. Also, she has Envelop. This ability, for a few seconds, will reduce all incoming damage to a flat value of, what is it, 275? Which is massive damage reduction versus Eevee, because Eevee does a burst of 850. That gets reduced down to less than 300. That's more than 50% damage reduction. You basically can't kill Ray with Eevee while restraints, uh, or while the envelop is up, excuse me. And she also has pretty good self-healing, and if you really need to, you can just pop ultimate and save yourself with that. So Ray is really good against Eevee in the support class. You also have your classic supports that are also a little bit hard to duel. Like you have Io with the auto-aim stun, as long as you can hit one shot on Eevee. Also good self-sustain and can body block with Luna. You have Grover. Grover is just amazing, just in general, because he has incredible survivability. You can do Vine Tech. I don't think it works in the shooting range, but yeah, you can do Vine Tech. Uh, you can also just heal yourself. You have a lot of damage reduction. You have good damage as well, and you have that built-in cripple. So Grover is another good support versus Eevee. Now, of course, I haven't covered all of the options that are good against Eevee because there are a lot of champions that have intrinsic things that are good against Eevee in one way or another, but those are kind of the cream of the crop champions that are just excellent against this champion. But let's say you don't find any of these champions to be fun. Let's say you're, I don't know, a Victor main. What do you do then to counter Eevee? This is where you have to get strategic with how you counter Eevee, and you have to understand how her kit works. This will take some skill on your part to counter this skillful Eevee. Not everything in this game has to be easy, and it's not easy to counter Eevee if you are playing Victor. Victor is, I would say, one of the worst characters in the game, period, for dealing with this champion. So what do you do then if you're forced to play against Eevee with someone who's vulnerable to Eevee? Well, you have to group up with your team, first and foremost. Strength in numbers is a very real thing. If you're chilling near your support and near, let's say, another damage champion or your off tank, when Eevee comes around to dive you with her blink and her sore, She's going to see that you have three champions grouped up there. Your teammates are going to turn and shoot at her, and she's going to have a lot more pressure on her than if you're isolated by yourself. The worst thing you can do against Eevee is isolate yourself when you're playing a champion who's bad at 1v1ing Eevee, because then she's just going to clobber you. Seriously. It is so easy to deal with Victor as Eevee. So do not, do not go off by yourself. It's just a bad idea. Really bad idea. The next thing is, Eevee 
can cause a lot of frustration with her ultimate, right? And as Victor, you are kind of just screwed. It's very hard to run away from an EV ult preemptively. But uh, let's say you're playing a different champion. Let's say you're playing a champion with some burst mobility, right? Such as Maldamba. Well, what happens when EV ults you? She cripples you in place, you can't move. So, to counter that ultimate, you have to understand when she's going to ult you. And when you see an yeah. Eevee playing really aggressively, like let's say she's blinking at you, right? She's just blinking, getting right in your face. You know she's going to ult. And if you can re uh, if you can have fast enough reflexes, if you can time it right, you can actually just slither away before she casts the ult on you. And especially if you can see her coming from a distance and you know that she's about to drop on your head, slither away. Just get out of there. And... Most of the time, she'll probably end up ulting and just missing you. I know that certainly happens to me a lot, and you can see it happen a lot when I play Eevee. I actually have an Eevee VOD on the VODs channel, and if you just scroll through that eventually, you'll see it happen. I know it happens multiple times for a fact, it just happens a lot. It's just, it's a good strategy to counter Eevee. And yeah, it takes a bit of getting used to it, it takes fast reflexes, but it's absolutely a way to counter her. The ultimate's not OP, you just gotta know what to do. Also, even though Sentinel is a bit buggy right now with how it works with slows, once this item is fixed, this will be a good item versus Eevee's ult, because the cripple only applies while you're in the slow field. So if you reduce the effectiveness of the slow, then you can get out of the field and you'll no longer be crippled. And it only does 800 damage over its duration, which is a good amount of damage, don't get me wrong. But yeah, the main thing is just the slow. It locks you in place, it makes it easy for Eevee to hit you. So yeah, this will be a good item for that nimble as well. If you buy both of them, you basically won't feel it. How about those pesky wormhole players that just do this all the time? How do you counter them? Well, it is a very safe play style for Eevee, no doubt about it. But there are ways to counter that as well. For one thing, again, survivability is your friend. With this play style, she's not committing nearly as hard to a push. And so, if you can just buy these survival items, such as armor plating and veteran, and just sustain one or two hits before she teleports back, and then just live instead of dying. <laughs> That's already going to hamper her actual effectiveness, and yeah, she'll still be annoying, but it's not like she'll be OP. If she is committing to a push, though, like this, then you have to be cognizant of where she's teleporting from, and this does require a bit of focus on your part, but again, not everything's going to be easy in this game, and it's still a strategy to counter Eevee. She leaves behind this little portal. That shows exactly where she's going to teleport back to with Wormhole. And so if you keep track of that, then you can be ready when she teleports back if you know where it is in the first place and you can easily access it, right? And so pay attention to that. Don't focus it the entire time, though. I've seen some people, like, when I'm playing Wormhole, I'll blink behind them, and then they'll just be staring at my portal while I'm shooting at them instead of shooting back at me. Don't do that. Just be aware of where it is in your head, right? Continue to track Eevee, but then, once you hear her blink back, flick back to the place that she teleported to and just blast her. That's a way to counter Wormhole. Wormhole players are usually insanely predictable. They usually just do this, blink in, shoot a few shots, and then teleport back. Almost always. So, yeah, you can pretty reliably count on them teleporting back, and if they don't teleport back, that means they just don't have their blink available. So just blast them. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, <laughs> that kind of leaves them in a pickle, too. What about when Eevee does this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she is pretty untargetable during that soar. What the heck are you supposed to do? How are you supposed to track her? She's basically invincible. What's going on here? This is overpowered. Well, let me let you in on a little secret. You don't actually have to track her. The thing about Soar is, if you can track her, if she's moving predictably, it's not a problem. You don't need this video t to help you with that. <laughs> she's just easy to counter if she's going in a straight line like this. Just shoot her. But if she is moving extremely fast and unpredictably, just don't waste your time. Reload. Reset. Heal yourself. Group up with your team. Reposition. You don't have to worry about tracking her while she's doing that. She is not a threat to you while she's Soar. She can't shoot, and if she does shoot, she cancels the sore and is no longer that hard to hit. And the thing you have to remember about sore is that when you cancel sore, your momentum just goes linearly, basically. Watch. Flick around, flick around, flick around, cancel sore. I just fall in a clean arc to the ground, linearly. 
easy trajectory to follow. And so after Eevee is done soaring, you can just follow that and hit her with your damage then. Instead of wasting bullets, wasting time, wasting resources on trying to hit her while she's using her soar, right? And also, blasters can hit her during that soar a bit easier if you are playing someone like Bomb King and just, like, spamming or whatever. Or you just have a really, really big bomb, right? And you just throw it in the general vicinity. But that's pretty niche. Um, in general, tracking her after the soar is done is a lot easier. Assuming she's uh, being evasive in the soar, not just traveling in a straight line during the soar. But that's a bad EV player and you don't have to worry about them anyways, so what's the point? The same can be said for her blink. It does take some getting used to, but the blink, in general is an ability that sends her a finite distance in one direction. And EV players usually end up blinking up above you, uh, or to the side of you, kind of like this, right? And when they do that, they also just fall back down to the ground, like this. So if you see an EV blink up into the air, and then you want to try and track her, try and aim where she's falling, right? Especially if you're playing a projectile. So like EV blinks, falls to the ground, your projectile goes here, intercepts, boom. That's how you can do that, and I've done that many times as well. Again, I <laughs> I even do that with Eevee versus other Eevee players. And uh, that's a way you can try and reliably track her while she's using the blink as well. Now, as far as the ice block is concerned, this is just immortality. Yeah, just straight up. <laughs> you can't damage her during that, and if the Eevee player is good, she's going to time her ice block for your powerful abilities. So, if you exhibit a bit of trigger discipline with this ice block, you can potentially save your abilities for after she exits the ice block. Let's say I'm playing Shaolin and I'm charging up a sand trap and Eevee ice blocks for it because she knows I'm going to hit her with it. If I just don't shoot that shot and I keep it knocked, I can blast her with it the second the ice block ends. A fun fact about the ice block is that you can actually shoot her the second the exit animation starts playing. So let me go into third person to demonstrate this. If I just pop into ice block here, watch when ice block ends. You see it start to melt. The second that melting frame starts, you can hit Eevee really quick. So if you have fast enough reflexes, if you can time it well, you can blast Eevee the second she leaves the ice block. Now, a good Eevee player will also control when she leaves ice block, and she'll try and instantly teleport away. She can do that really quickly. Um, and she also might not wait the full duration of the ice block, right? She might exit the ice block sooner than that. And so that's up to you to have good enough reflexes in the situation to hit her after that. But you can game the system. It gives her brief immortality. She can use it reflexively to block attacks, but you can also use it to hit her with your own attacks after the ice block is done, if you know what you're doing. And if you're playing one of those counter champions like I mentioned earlier, especially someone like Torvald, you can just hit her with that nullify the second the ice block is over, and she will evaporate. She will die. Instantly. So, keep that in mind. So, in summary, there are a bunch of good champions that are excellent at countering Eevee. Champions that have high burst, high health pools, or consistent crowd control that will stop her from using her movement abilities are excellent, chief among them being champions like Torvald, Shaolin, and Leon. Eevee also has abilities that do make her very evasive, but if you understand the physics of this game and you understand the way these abilities work, you can track her as she uses these abilities with some practice, hitting your flick shots, and also understanding that, oh yeah, she just carries momentum. I can hit her after she's evasive in the sore and just track her as she exits. Easy. And uh, also, you can game the ice block to hit her as soon as the ice block ends, if you time your shots properly. And you can also, with some good trigger discipline, save your big abilities uh, for after the ice block, instead of wasting them on the ice block, if you know that she's going to try an ice block for one of your abilities, right? And also, if you see an Eevee trying to dive you with an ultimate, which I do a lot with snow globe because I'm a snow globe man. Like, you see her approaching like that. Just use your movement ability preemptively and get the heck out of there, right? Because if she commits with a blink and a soar like that, she's not going to be able to easily chase you with her ultimate after you use your movement ability. So, yeah, preemptively using your movement ability is key. Also, good items for countering EV are armor plating and veteran, of course, because if you can increase the amount of shots she needs to kill you, you will greatly increase her time to kill. And also... If Sentinel actually works properly, this item will help you counter her ultimate as well as Nimble. Just get out of the zone as quickly as possible and basically prevent it from slowing you at all. So yeah, there are lots of ways to counter this champion in Paladins. She's not OP. She requires a metric crap ton of skill to play to the degree that you will be annoyed by her because she's doing so good. But even if you do play her skillfully like that, like I do, I am a very skillful EV main, you can still counter her if you understand how to play the game properly. It's a matter of absorbing that knowledge into your head. 
and really just, yeah, figuring out how to counter this champion to the fullest. So I hope that this video helped you out. If it did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.